Dr. Torper's Dating Advice, Ultimate Goals, Children. Let me put Junior down and get him all comfy. Don't worry, Junior will be nice and warm. I heated the guns in the microwave. Doctor, he seems to be getting worse instead of better. In dating, it's important to be aware of your ultimate goals. For some, the ultimate goal is eventually having children. Consequently, these persons are not interested in dating anyone who does not want children. That's okay by me. Allow me to make some points about having children. Explain me more. One, we have enough people. In fact, there's too many people. And it's been that way for a long time. Rabbits, mice, monkeys, not people. Two, many people have a desire, an obsessive desire to procreate. Understandable, because it is hardwired into us by nature. It is the purpose of every species to perpetuate itself. Each organism's job is to live long enough to reproduce. After that, biology doesn't care about you anymore. So, my point, when you hear the birds and the bees, the urge to have a baby can be completely disregarded. There is no longer any reason to take it seriously. That's one of the nicest things that's ever been said to me. Three, children throw tantrums. Four, after what we just saw, do I need to remind you, you don't even know if you will like your offspring or if they will like you? You're making a big commitment to someone you don't know. You, you like eating skunk cabbage. Yeah. Five, there's a major informed consent problem here. There is no way to ask a person in advance if they want to be born. And look what they're coming into, a monopoly game in progress in which they can look forward to spending the rest of their lives competing with others for money and property with an unlimited amount of horrible things that can happen to them until they die. After all I've done for you, you might at least show a little gratitude. Six, do you really want to be legally responsible for any stupid thing your kid does before they turn 18? I didn't mean it. You didn't mean it. You never mean it. The blame will land on you every time. And this predicament is further exacerbated by the difficult challenge of being a good parent in the first place. How do you know you have the aptitude for it? Please don't die. I'll get you some water, okay? Seven. Not only do I advise that you refuse to procreate, but I also recommend that you take severe precautions to avoid having a baby by accident, which during the childbearing years, is an ever-present danger. I didn't mean it. I have often heard of your uncanny experiments, but this tops them all. All that being said, parenthood is a noble endeavor. If you want to take on that important responsibility, Dr. Torper stands in awe of your courage. It is truly heroic. Dr. Torper saying, if the nut doesn't fall far from the tree, it's easier to keep an eye on it and put someone else in contact with the infinite. Do you want to see the infinite? Do you want to look at the infinite? Do you? Goochie, goochie, goo.